Um, so in the past few months, I've been reading through uh, the Mishu Jima and Cross translation of Dogen's Shadow Genzo, and I'm on book four. And um, I just read chapter 49, which is Pitsuda, which uh, they translate as the Buddhist truth. Um, yeah, and it's quite an interesting one. Um, Dogen's basically saying that there's no such thing as a Zen sect or a photo sect, like we can uh, say these things that there's no such thing as all these different sects within Buddhism. There is just kind of there is Buddhism, um, and all the kind of extra things beyond that then are pretty much uh, just superfluous and, and not even Buddhism. Um, and yeah, Dogen can really attack <laughs> people that aren't in his lineage. Um, you know, Zazen is is the ultimate thing. Um, that is the Buddhist truth is practicing Zaz and that is Nirvana itself. Um, so yeah, um, what does this mean? Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, the people I listen to, there, there's so many like, uh, you know, Zen monasteries or Zen center or all that. So it's clearly a very popular word. And I don't know, you see it a lot in like modern, in just other things as well, products titled Zen or other un Buddhist things called Zen. So I don't know, I feel like Zen is more likely to be misconstrue like what does it mean it's just being peaceful or whatever um and where does Zen come from well they were saying that like when bodhidharma came to china he basically just you know stared at a wall doing and people thought oh he's just doing uh, the meditation the dhyana part which is translated to chan or, or zen and uh yeah so why is he focusing that much so they thought oh this is just a new this is a sect a bodhidharma sect or a zen sect just focusing on that one part of being a Buddhist as, as opposed to, well, sorry, in, in conjunction, um, oh, sorry, I mean, so there are other ways of being like a Bodhisattva, other qualities such as like wisdom and, um, I don't know, some other ones, some other qualities. Um, but Dogen's basically saying that people misunderstand and that, yeah. So what does this mean? This means that um, I feel like from in from now on, I, I won't differentiate, so I won't say like Zen Buddhist, I'll just say Buddhist. Um, you know, if people really want to ask into what lineage and stuff, then I'll say it's this, this or that lineage. Certainly, I think Dogen believes in lineage, lineages, not so much in sex, though. So it shouldn't be like, you can have a certain lineage, but it doesn't mean that, you, because I think a sect implies that there's some sort of new knowledge, when really it's just, it's always the Buddhist truth. It's the, the knowledge of the Buddhist patriarchs um, and Buddhists. So there's no, there's nothing new to, to really add on to it. I would say the only thing is that, there is a new thing which is being able to express um, the ineffable in like a modern way or to teach people in a, mod in a modern way in modern language and related to the culture that that country is in. Um, you know, which Dogen does, for example, we translate Chinese things to Japanese that, that the Japanese can understand in that time. So I think that's fine, but it doesn't mean that you're going to make a sect, you know, a sect implies that there's, yeah, there's something new, um, but that's unnecessary. There's, yeah, only one, but it's truth. Um, and yeah, but I know lots of religions, they splinter and, and they, they have similar things, you know, people saying this is the legitimate, legitimate way or whatever. Um, yeah, whatever, just, uh, yeah, interesting, I watched the Prabhu on a video today about how, you know, someone was asking him, like, you know, when, when someone, when one teacher says this is the true way and then another says, they give the example of someone says, it was Mubo says that you've got the only way to eat mindfully is eating really quickly, whereas uh, Thich Nhat Khan says the only way is to eat slowly, so... What do you do? Just follow one way, follow it uh, with absolute devotion, and that is the right way. Okay? Just believe that and believe it strongly. And, you know, maybe, yeah, we don't know why people say these crazy things all the time. That's just to follow circumstances. There you go.